Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how I beat the boss Fallen Archbishop Andreas in Lies of P. So this is the chapter 4 boss and this can be a wall for a lot of people. This boss made me go out and grind up my vitality to get a bit more health because some of these attacks you just can't do anything about. I perfect parried that one but it follows up all the time with even quicker attacks. So my best advice to beat this boss, use the specter and get comfortable with reading the attacks. Phase 1 isn't too difficult, but it has a full health bar. I feel like this is a very tanky boss. I use fire in this, and the weapon I'm using is the rapier handle with the great sort of fate blade on it. I found this to be one of the best combinations for myself with getting the parries off as well as getting attacks in. This boss is, however, very tanky, so I definitely recommend using items on this, whatever you've got. If you're comfortable using any of them, feel free to go ahead with them. <laughs> use your fable arts, use your items that restore that. Anything to get in those attacks so that you can get off one of these special attacks that will knock it out. This is when things get real. Phase 2. This boss has another creature come out of it. You want to focus on the back side of this boss though. The front side is going to be a challenge as I find many of the attacks a little bit too intensive. So when it gets to this phase, focus on the back side because it's going to be a similar fight to what you're used to. And what it'll do when you fight the back is it'll change over to the first phase fight. And uh, it'll still have the other character wailing around attacking, but mostly the attacks you'll get are from that backside there. And if you already got comfortable with parrying them, you'll be fine in this phase. When I, one of the most important things with this, though, is to try to avoid those heavy hitter attacks that you know you won't be able to get the timing down. Most notably this one, the slam. I find that the timing on it is not very easy. It comes down a lot quicker than you'd imagine. So I use the electric to it, the electric in this attack with the abrasive to do a bit more damage. I think fire, fire is a great choice as well. But whatever you can get in extra damage with, if you got a few of those abrasives built up, this is a great chance to use them. What I like to do with any of these boss fights is to do a few runs without using the specter to get comfortable with the parries and even do a few attempts where you don't attack at all and you just maybe get to the second phase and just block 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 so you can get comfortable with how the parrying works. Because when you get to do these, it removes all that extra health that it had there, making this fight a lot easier to get down. So that makes this fight a little bit easier. I'm surprised the Spectre survived this whole fight. This is the first time that it ever did, but I think we were able to but split the aggro between the two of us very well here. And yeah, it got down a lot easier than before. So that's how I beat the boss, Fallen Archbishop Andreas. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next video.